first thing most people look up when shopping for a new TV or monitor is the resolution. And this is the way it should be. The higher the resolution is, the sharper the overall image will be. But the resolution labels you can encounter at the moment are many and, quite frankly, confusing. From HD to Full HD to Quad HD, Ultra HD, 4K, 8K and more. And while higher resolution displays have comfortably settled in the mainstream, lower resolution displays still have a home in the hardware world even today. With that in mind, let's compare HD and Full HD resolution, as these two lower resolutions are still often used in many laptops and TVs. In addition to how they stack up against each other, we'll also be taking a look at whether or not they are even worth considering in 2020 for those on a budget. So without any further ado, let's begin. We'll start with HD, the lower resolution, which is also referred to as HD Ready or 720p. Strictly speaking, this term denotes displays with a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. The total pixel count of this resolution is just shy of 1 million pixels. However, nowadays it's also being used as an umbrella term that includes other similar resolutions like 1280 by 800 or 1366 by 768. When it comes to gaming monitors, 720p is completely obsolete in 2020. However, as we've mentioned, this resolution can still be found in some affordable TVs and laptops tops. On the other hand, Full HD, also known as 1080p, is used to denote a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. At first glance, the difference between 720p and 1080p doesn't seem all that big. However, the total pixel count here is roughly 2 million. That's twice as many pixels. So if we had two displays of the same size, one supporting an HD resolution and the other a Full HD resolution, the latter would have a much sharper image. Now, Full HD is also slowly growing obsolete in the TV market, with 4K TVs having all but replaced them in most homes. However, the situation isn't the same when it comes to gaming and monitors. While there certainly are 4K gaming monitors out there, we're only now getting graphics cards that can comfortably render games at this resolution. Expensive, high-end graphics cards, mind you. So while 1080p may lack in way of future-proofing, it isn't entirely outdated as of yet. So now that we know exactly what the terms HD and Full HD entail, let's see how they stack up. Obviously, we know that Full HD is a higher resolution and objectively superior, but is there a reason why you may want to get a plain old HD monitor or laptop instead? To answer this question, we must first explain what screen real estate is, since this should definitely be a top priority when shopping for a display. In essence, screen real estate refers to the amount of space available on a screen for an application to provide output. Basically, since Full HD features twice the pixel count of HD, it also boasts twice as much screen space that applications can use. Keep in mind that we're not referring to the physical dimensions of the display. The two displays can be the same, but you would effectively have more working space on the display with the larger resolution. This makes multitasking way easier as it eliminates the need for excessive scrolling while reading. All in all, a higher resolution doesn't only make the image sharper. Visuals are great, but folks on a budget may be willing to forego it. However, it's important to keep in mind that you aren't just foregoing the visuals by opting for a lower resolution display, you're also limiting your screen real estate. Of course, we assume most of you watching this video are gamers. So how do these two resolutions stack up when it comes to gaming? Is there also some hidden catch here, or are the poor visuals the only difference as far as gaming on lower resolutions goes? And the answer, once again, is that there is more to it than just the visuals. When it comes to gaming, we have to consider how powerful the hardware is, and whether it can make use of any higher resolution. Now here's the thing, the likeliest place to find an HD display nowadays is on a laptop. Budget laptops typically use the 1366 by 768 resolution, which is a bit higher than regular HD but still not even close to full HD. And laptops, for the most part, lack powerful hardware. Even laptops that do feature dedicated graphics cards won't come close to the level of performance of a PC. As for laptops that use integrated graphics, they're more than likely not running any recent games in 1080p. So when it comes to laptop gaming, you would, in many cases, have to lower the resolution to 720p even on a laptop that has a Full HD display. 
And if this is the case, and you need to save every penny you can, then a laptop with a Full HD display is certainly worth it. However, when it comes to gaming on TVs, the situation isn't the same. As we've mentioned, even Full HD is slowly but surely becoming obsolete here. The new generation of consoles is finally set to normalize 4K gaming. Even the Xbox Series S is going to render games in 2K rather than Full HD. So for the sake of gaming on a TV, Full HD is always better than HD. Also keep in mind that you'll probably use the TV to stream other content as well, and that content is going to look so much better on a Full HD TV. Lastly, when it comes to PC gaming and monitors, the situation is pretty much the same. Full HD always presents better value, and it's not like Full HD monitors are more expensive either. In fact, you'd likely have trouble even finding an HD-ready monitor in the first place. Finally, we have to approach this issue from the perspective of future-proofing. HD-ready is already obsolete as it is. It can be a worthwhile pick for laptop gaming since upgrading laptop hardware is more trouble than it's worth, but otherwise, it's always better to get a Full HD display if higher resolutions are out of the question. Keep in mind though that Full HD is pretty dated itself, and 4K displays aren't nearly as expensive as they once were. When it comes to monitors, nothing is stopping you from getting a lower resolution temporarily while you wait to procure better gaming hardware. A game rendered in 2K will not look bad by any means on a 4K monitor, and unless the monitor in question is larger than 24 inches, it won't look bad rendered in 1080p either. So if you want to keep your laptop, TV, or monitor future-proofed, investing a little extra is more than worth it. And that about does it for this video. HD is a resolution comprised of about a million pixels, whereas Full HD features approximately 2 million pixels. If this seems impressive, do keep in mind that 4K boasts more than 8 million pixels. So with that in mind, both HD and Full HD resolutions are pretty dated in 2020. This is most noticeable in the TV market, where 4K TVs now actually outnumber Full HD models in many stores. And with 4K content becoming more ubiquitous than ever, you can never go wrong with the 4K display. When it comes to laptops, Full HD and even HD resolutions feel more at home, especially if you plan on gaming. Most laptops feature integrated graphics, and integrated graphics still have trouble handling 1080p in most games. Finally, when it comes to monitors, HD-ready models are pretty hard to come by. Full HD has not become obsolete here, but it by no means offers any future-proofing. And that about does it for this video. We hope you found it helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking it, sharing it with friends, and leaving a comment. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to enable notifications. We upload a new video every week, so stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.